Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Collector's Vault. My name is Mike, uh, doing something definitely new here. We're actually going to be doing a Let's Play of one of my uh, only, the only games I can really play on the computer right now. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Metroid, and I actually wanted to, you know, play some Metroid games for you guys, but I usually just play old school on my, on my consoles or on the, the, the Switches, you know, like retro thing where you can play, like, Super Metroid and stuff. But I do have AM2 on my computer, and I do have one of these cool little Super NES uh, controllers, which I think is perfect for playing like, like any Metroid game, especially the 2D ones. So I thought it'd be kind of fun just to play a little AM2R. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get this started. Forgive me, I've never done this before, so this is uh, officially my first time. Ooh, there we go. Hope you guys can hear that. I have to give a lot of, a big shout out to the uh, to the uh, composer of this soundtrack. It's actually incredible. Actually, I'm trying to find his name right now. I followed him on YouTube actually. Torby? Torby Brand? Yeah. Let's see if I can change the volume. It's a little loud. <laughs> I think it's better. Alright. Okay. I was, uh, and we're not doing hard, but I tried hard, but it's actually pretty hard. Um, actually, let me see if I can shrink my face. I think I'm in the way. Yeah, because, like, again, my, the video quality on my camera's not that good anyway, so. Um. Yeah, everything is fine, okay. There we go. Okay, anyway. So, uh, let's do a new, brand new game, and uh, normal's fine. Again, here, you know, hard. I, I tried hard, and it's tough. You just run out of missiles so quickly, and it's like really difficult because then Metroids don't drop missiles or any ammo in that in hard mode. So, yeah, Metroids. Numerous incidents of the past have brought the, to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across. I have to reach. Across the galaxy, I think, hoping to secure peace in the galaxy. The Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Me, I was. I don't know what sounds, that was me. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? I'm just gonna skip this part now. Okay. Just so I let you know, this is not going to be like a, like one of those uh, speed run. We're going to actually try to enjoy because I, I honestly don't really like speed speed running Metroid games. I kind of just like to enjoy them, like what they are. So yeah, but uh, yeah, this is actually a really great remake of, or kind of like a reimagining of Metroid Two: Return of Samus, and uh, it utilizes kind of like the GBA graphics, like from, from Zero Mission, and which I love. I just, I love the sprite work, and the controls are really really good and snappy. And this is like. Zero mission Samus, like she is so mobile, she can do double. I'll show, I'll show you. She can do double. She can wall jump like perfectly fine. They did add this cool little like way how she like vaults over a little like. See that she like vaults over little ledges, which is pretty cool. And she can do like you know all kind of wall jump for you guys to see. No, not yet. But uh, I think all we have in the beginning of this game is our normal power beam, morph ball, and missiles. Which I do have set to my R button. So again, that's why I love this controller so much. It's just it's very, uh, it's very friendly. Ooh, there we go. And something that's funny, I didn't notice this until I watched this one review of it. Did you know if you look really closely at her morph ball, it actually you can see it like turning around. It's just the details in this game are incredible. Doctor M sixty four and his team had they they had to be commended for. How well this game turned out. Bye. Yeah, again, the soundtrack's phenomenal. 
I'll, I'll put a link in, in the description below for Torby's YouTube. You have to see some of the, the work this guy does. He even has some work for the Metroid soundtrack he D worked on, and it's just it's so it's so enjoyable to listen to. Yeah. So if, if this was hard mode, these things would take like forever to kill. It's like it's 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 definitely challenging, but I would say it's not fun. Like it, it's more challenging than fun, in my opinion. I think normal is perfect just for having fun. And for new and for newcomers, I would definitely recommend uh, uh, easy mode. Save stations actually have uh, what's it called? They can fully heal you, not just save the game, which is kind of nice. And also replenishes your ammo. Got that lava. Oops. Got that uh, power grip too, which is awesome. Uh oh. It's definitely uh, more challenging than the. Uh... Ah, so good. It's so bad this game. God, what the hell? There we go. I promise I'm not that bad, I just <laughs> I could not hit that alpha. <laughs> Save my life. Let's see, there should be something up here, I think. It's actually been a while since I played this game. Did there be something up here? Maybe not. I think in the original Metroid there was like a recharge thing up there, like, uh, but uh, I thought maybe like a missile, a missile tank. Uh, this is kind of cool. This we actually have the, uh, uh, her scan visor, in a way, it kind of like analyzes the area and like when things happen. It, I think even when you meet when you meet a new, a new Metroid or something this happens, you get like a little explanation of it. Yeah. So here's like the little. Uh, it's really cool. They actually go into a lot of detail with this kind of stuff. So if ever you want to like read into the pseudoscience of the Metroid universe in this game, I you know definitely just you know take some time to look through it. It's, it's pretty cool. Again, Doctor M and his team had to be commended for the amount of uh, like detail they put into this game. The lore, it's it's all really good. Ah. Even the little water droplets, like how they dissipate when they hit the ground, and they dissipate when they hit Samus's like helmet. It's just again, I know I'm nerding out when it, for this kind of stuff, but it's just it's just what I live for, man. These Metro games. I will admit that I do like this new interpretation, little, uh, this re this new, uh, version of the, uh, I think it's called the Caves of SR388, <clears throat> or the Surface of SR388, like, music. It's really good, but I do think it's, it's a, it doesn't really have the same, like, beat as the, uh, the original. Granted, the original was only, you know, a, uh, you know, on a Game Boy, so the sound effects and the music was only as good as it, as it could have been, but... Uh, that's one thing I definitely think that Samus Returns on the 3DS uh, definitely excels at is the, uh, the, is the music for that song. Just sounds better. Mercury seems to do a good job on that one. How do I... I forget. How do I aim downwards? I think I... I actually forget. I know... I have L set to aim up, but... Is it down? Hmm. I actually, uh... Don't remember how I aim down. That's more cool. Oh, it's select button. Okay, that's a, that's a weird thing I haven't selected as. Yeah. Alright. Uh, one of the cool things is that uh, when they were redoing this game, they actually uh, like the the original uh, Metroid actually had all of the areas that you go to. They're all basically temples, like Chozo temples. And this thing, they actually kept it where only the first area is a Chozo temple. I think we'll see it right here. The see it's, it's uh, the scan visor. Oh, I'm not saying Metro is mind. I thought it was, it was when, when the scan visor comes up, you press start. It'll go to the, the, the little menu where it'll, it'll show you what what you're scanning. That was just saying how hey, there's four metros in this area, so you, you know how many you have to get to hunt and kill. Ah, no! Oh god damn it! I'm trying not to curse. I'm sorry. I know I don't really tend to curse on my channel, but like this is just once in a blue moon, I will just like it just comes out. I'm sorry. I'll do my best to not curse. Uh -huh. So yeah, here's the uh, first area, which is uh, is still the Chozo, whoops, which they still kept as like a Chozo, I'm, just, I'm so bad at this game. They kept it as like a Chozo temple, which is really cool. And uh, it's actually just 
just really sick. Like, again, the detail. It actually reminds you of Chozodia. They basically took the Cho Chozodia graphics from uh, from Zero Mission and used that for this world. And it, just, it fits really well. I think it looks really nice. And, uh... I think when we get into the actual temple, you'll hear, like... They did, uh... uh Torby did a really good job redoing the uh, Golden Temple music. That's actually one of the things, the worst things about the original game is... There's only, like four or five actual songs on the soundtrack, and the temple theme was actually, like, it, uh, it wasn't really enjoyable to listen to, but in this, he actually turns it, you'll still hear it right now. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, Very sounds very mystical, and I, and I, I do like that. Alright, let's see. Uh, I think down here, yeah, there we go. First upgrade of the game, Morph Ball Bombs. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Miss Tank. I think, uh, right here. Again, this is not a 100% playthrough. I actually don't think I ever did 100% this game. Wait, did I? No, I think I did 100% it. I had it in my one file, but it's just... It took a while for me to find everything, and it's, you know, yeah, it was still fun. I, I loved it. It's just, uh, sometimes I, I just like playing for the... I'll do my best to get it all, but I'm not going to like go out of my way, because it'll probably involve me having to look, look up a little wiki or something, so... Boink. So, ooh, energy tank. I think a uh, charge beam is down here somewhere. Oh. What's this? Oh, that's for end game right there. What are we doing here? There we go. Do, 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 do. There it is. Charge beam. And one thing I really like about this charge beam, I'll, I'll show you, is they kept they did they did something similar like in the Prime series where your charge beam actually holds in, uh, like ah here not done damage maybe it's like dropping here we go. So now charge beam it pulls in missile uh like re like re missile ammunition and uh, energy. Ah, I missed one. And obviously it's stronger than ordinary beam. Yep, there we go. More missiles. I should a bunch right here. This is actually pretty uh, accurate to the original ah, the original game. There was like, yeah, like three missiles in this one little room, so it's kind of cool. These are all bombs. I think there's something over here. There it is. Ah. Ah! Come on, I'm so bad at this. Ah. And no, there is no jump ball in this until you, uh... Well, teaser? What could that be? Yeah, there's no jump ball in this game. It, well, there is, but you have to... It's not... You don't just have it automatically. You have to... It's, it's, it's an upgrade you get. It's actually a mandatory upgrade, which is kind of neat. Ah. Oops. I'm trying to... Oh, one thing I like to say, like, this game does have, like, zero mission, like, uh, mechanics. Like, you have the wall jump, and you can continuously wall jump on one wall. If I can find you, like, just one wall to jump on, I can show you. Because in Zero, in, uh, Metro Fusion, and also in Samus Returns, uh, they did, like, you know, the wall jump's nerfed. You can only jump on one, one wall. You can't just, I mean, you, you need two walls to wall jump. You can't scale one wall. But, uh... This is a neat little puzzle at the end of this game. I which one there is. Oh, this one. There we go. There we 
Okay. I think I can go anywhere. Anymore. I think I have to go to it right now because I need the uh, I need the spider ball, which is actually that little upgrade that we that we were teased with. And I, I think I think they teased that in the original too. I, I think there was like a little room that you can go into, and then it shows that like you know it's like uh, like the room that you were going to was the room where it was kept, but like there was like a cave in or something. So it's kind of cool, a little tease, and then you have to find your ultimate path to get there. Oh, look at that, Metroid husk. One nearby. There we go. Uh, ah. There it is. Spider ball. So now we can. How do I do it again? No. Man, how do I do this? I could just wall jump, like I said, like... Oh, can't wait. Too bad, I like, couldn't grab that ledge. There we go. How do you do... Oh, it's L. Okay, gosh, I'm so stupid. So, L is when... Uh, again, you can change the controls any way you want to, which is kind of nice. But in this, if I... Uh, I'm in Morph mode and I press the L button, I can use my Morph Ball. Uh, my Spider Ball. And you know what, you, you don't have to hold it in, you just gotta press it once and it just stays on. Alright, I think there is a Metroid in here. My missile's ready. There he is, yeah! Like I said, uh, in the hard mode, the Metroids don't drop any ammo, so it's like really tough when you have to like fight like the uh oops, I'm trying to that work. There we go. It's kinda tough when you're uh, trying to fight like the Zetas, because like they take so many missiles to kill. And again, you don't drop any, so if you literally run out of missiles, you have to leave the area, get more missiles, and come back. And that's where I just said to this game is just not worth playing at that point. It's no, like <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, this part's kind of tricky. This thing's, uh... There we go. There we go. I don't really think there's any other upgrades around here, so I'm just gonna just jump down. Uh, we've got our map. Yeah, I think that's it. You get your three upgrades and you leave. This place is again kind of like a tutorial level. The first, the first world is like that. Cool golden temple. I think I can go. There we go. Is there anything up here? I forget. Probably not. I'm just wasting time. The more, this, this, but the ball is really slow. So yeah, I don't think there is. Let's just get out of here and get our, to our first boss fight. Got the pseudo screw attack when you when you when you're on the charge beam, your somersault can actually hurt enemies, which is pretty cool. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm busy to go fight the other Metroids now. Actually, I think this is a pretty good time to stop. So, guys, we're uh, at, when we get back, we're gonna get the rest of the Metroids in the Golden Temple area. So, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys like this. I mean, I I love playing Metroid. And, uh, so, I hope you guys enjoy watching this, too. Um, maybe I'll do other games in the future. Again, maybe if I can find a way to capture the gameplay on my TV. For right now, <clears throat> I just have, uh, I just have this. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.